These 20 lifelines are competing for a free prestige skin, and all they gotta do is make it up to that hill alive. Three, two, one, go, lifelines, good luck. Game number one is called Lifeline Res Me. The lifelines have to race to the top of the hill while avoiding deadly obstacles from the other legends. The lifelines who make it alive into the safe zone will be entered into a drawing to win Apex coins. The lifelines can choose to stay in the safe zone or take their shot at a guaranteed 1,000 Apex coins by going and resing their teammate at the top of the hill. There will be a mobile respawn beacon at the top of this building, and the lifeline who reses their teammate will get a guaranteed 1,000 Apex coins. Not just for them, but also their teammate. But they have to be careful because if they leave the safe zone, and die trying to raise their teammate or die on the way to the finish line, they will get no Apex coins, but don't worry, we'll bring them back in for the finals, they just miss out on extra Apex coins. So the question is, are you gonna play it safe and just roll a chance at getting a thousand Apex coins, or are you gonna risk it all and try to raise your teammate? With me is Reek. Reek, thank you for joining me. I know you're a very, uh, you're an advocate for the Lifeline community. Um, what are your thoughts on this first mode? They just gotta make it up there alive. Yeah, just make it up alive, play cover, Try not to use your drone until you absolutely have to. Mm. Uh, I think that's the strategy, and I'm not worried about those Apex coins. Yep. Uh, I, I also didn't say it. Uh, there's a two-minute timer. Uh, so, yeah, they, they have to make their way to the top within the time frame. If they die or go down, it is what it is, because obviously they can't get rest. Look at him. Oh, no. Rest in peace, Lifeline. Might not make it to the race. Some people are taking the grab cannon and making their way up. Remember, if the lifelines make it to the top, they are safe. The mode is not over until two minutes is up. Lifelines oh, are already okay. punching each other out. Yep. Again, if they go down, they go down. One minute left. I st I'm just still watching people duke it out. Uh, I'm wondering, are there any fallen soldiers down here? This Caustics really did a good job holding it down. Anybody dead here? Oh, no. It's, oh, that was close. <laughs> There's a death box right on top of the the res beacon. Mm -hmm. And we've had some people try to stand on top of it in res, like we have yep. right now. I think it's safe to say the people that were going to make it in the box have made it in the box. We have about five, four, three, two, one. Everybody stop moving. Stay where you are. Don't move. Freeze. If you're in the safe zone, you're in the safe zone. Vinny D, you're considered safe, barely. Get in the box. No, he- Everybody stop. No, absolutely not. <laughs> all right, all right. Stop, stop, we're moving, stop moving. We're talking about Midster, Bolo, KC Shark. You know you want me. Shy, Hazel, Thunder, and 869. Just because you weren't in the box doesn't mean you're not able to still win the prestige game. You just have to sit out for game two. And game two is, well, Trident Royale. Let's go ahead and get ready for that. Game number two is Trident Royale. All the lifelines are gonna have an octane that is driving them around in a trident. The octanes are not allowed to have any weapons. They're only allowed to drive, melee, and res their lifeline if their lifeline goes down. Nobody's gonna be fighting until the beginning of ring three. The winning team of Trident Royale will both each be given 2,000 Apex coins each. But that's not all the Apex coins I'm giving out. The first trident that parks at the top of this pylon will be given 1,000 Apex coins to each player. Only one team can get the thousand apex coins so the question is are you gonna risk wasting time to get a thousand apex coins or are you gonna play it safe and just loot to try to win trident royale three two one go go try to get that trident on for thousand apex coins bonus or or not or go loot and uh try to get ready for endgame reek what is your strat strategy on this? Are you gonna try to get the bonus coins or are you just gonna be like, nah, nope. I'm gonna go loot? I'm gonna go loot and give myself the best chance to win the prestige game. I know there were a couple, I know there's a couple teams out here that just straight bailed. They, I think they're taking your plan. They're not even gonna try to get the, the coins. They're just gonna, oh wait, we have our first team. Oh, well, they got the thousand Apex coins. Team Siaka Slim and KC Shark, only one team can win it, they got it. Uh, now you guys got to loot. Wow, I should have made it a little harder, but damn. Yeah, they I got guess... up there really quick. Reek, since now everyone's looting, what is your what is your approach? Are you going to spend more time like getting Evo Harvesters, supply bins, or maybe weapons are a priority? I mean, you should be able to do all... You should be able to do both. Just drive around and play the mini games. Um, Lifeline should actually be getting out of their tridents and calling their care packages. I'm interested to see which perks they pick. There is one at the end that will clearly help you. Question is for the Lifelines, are they picking the self-res or are they going for fully kitted gold loot? Remember you guys, they cannot fight outside of the trident. They must remain in the trident at all times when shooting. If they fall out, they can res, heal. That's fine. Any shooting outside of the trident is not tolerated. 
Here we go. Let the violence begin. Do we have any shooters? Let's check the map. Anybody shooting? No, everyone's pretty divided, playing scared. Very safe, why? Lots of Apex coins on the line, that's why. Endring is gonna be here in the dinosaur pit. Or Jurassic Park pit, what do you call this place? We got the drive-by shootings, Team 3 has a clear yep. shield advantage with red and uh -oh. purple. We might see uh -oh. our first team go down. You see that right here, you know you want me. 701 might go down. They jump out, because they gotta heal. They can't really shoot and fight. They jumped out to hit a bat, might be a strategic play. Octane's already on the run. You know you want me, hits the bat. Octane, the driver is gone. They gotta get back into their trident. Oh no, this is it. They get back in, they get away, they live to see another day. Wow, Reek. That L-Star is humming right now. You know you want me, is struggling. He does not have an angle to shoot. This Octane mm -hmm. needs to... Oh my, they're down, they're down. Lifeline has to either get back in the driver's seat and drive away to res, tap the res. No, are they gonna get thirsted? Puts the knock up to try to block him. Octane's gotta run away and res. And did not have the gold away. knockdown. An yep, excellent pad away. right there. He might die. He might not make it out. Oh, no. Oh, but then the third party comes in. Wow. Oh, my God. These guys, in order for them to get back into it, not only do they got to res the lifeline, but they got it. They need their trident. Res. They need to get back into their trident if they want to get back in the fight. I just want to make that very known. You know you want me. Has to. Siaka Slim goes down. Trippy Girl goes down. Whoa. Lots of fighting going down over here. No one's really getting thirsted yet. And Malignant Cat and Trippy are playing the Trident excellently for cover. They were able yep. to get a full reset here. But remember, Octanes, if you lose your lifeline, take off with the Trident and just go look for a crafter and rest. And Surely, look at right? Ivan Leon and 869. Cold chilling away from everybody. Just parked really? on the edge of the ring. Team 15. They haven't wasted any resources. They have red and purple. There is really no need to do anything. So they're just letting everybody kill themselves off waste resources. Yes. On the, oh, you know you want me is hard shooting outside the car. Just lit somebody up. Yeah, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Chat. Can we get maybe a stop in the action to kill this person? Thankfully, my community was able to get rid of the cheater. I really do my best to keep these tournaments balanced, and I'm thankful for those that do participate actually have integrity. The competitors managed to get rid of the cheater, and we all happily continued the tournament. All right, now, all right, get, now, we'll now get back in your ships and proceed. Up. Everybody heal up. Everybody get in your ships. Heal up. Get in your ships and heal up. But here we go. The show's resuming. We got rid of the griefer. Good luck. The patented strategy of like just kind of jumping in and out of the of the trident he's popping a phoenix oh kit and it looks like this is gonna work here tony he got away with it yeah, he got away with it and now i don't think being in the trident is a good thing if you're the octane i think the move would be for the, the octane to be out of the ship the trident park if the if the, if the if the lifeline goes down res your teammate maybe this is it yeah no they're, they're still in the trident they still gotta play it it's gonna come down to resing oh. zone it's a, it's a heal off we got uh the red pass out do not Sigma step into the zone. Oh! Oh! They won with a freaking heat shield in the last minute. No guns needed. We have our Apex champion. No guns needed. We are now here at the final round, game three, which is called Mozambique here. Each lifeline will be assigned one octane. The octane is not allowed to shoot any guns or use any explosives. The octanes are only allowed to melee, hold loot for lifeline, and res the lifeline if they need them. And just like the name of the challenge lifelines, they're only allowed to use Mozambiques, no explosives. There will be no fighting until ring one has closed. And just like all the other modes, there's a bonus apex coin challenge. The lifeline team that eliminates the Revenant that is in Terraformer will be given 3,000 Apex coins. But they have to be careful because Revenant will shoot back with a Wingman or P2020, whatever he's got in his hand. So the question is, are you going to play it safe and just try to win the Prestige skin? Or are you going to risk it all and try to get an extra 3,000 Apex coins? Good luck to you guys. No fighting until Ring 1 closes. Reek, what's your approach for this? You know there's 3,000 Apex coins on the line. Are you going to acknowledge that or are you just playing the end game? We're, we're here to win a Lifeline Prestige skin I'm finding every supply bin I possibly can first, then hitting the Evo Harvesters and staying out of everybody's way. I'm using my mic to tell my Octane, give me your, to win the give me the pad. 
you know, we're just gonna try to survive towards the end. Also, I think a really underrated strategy would be Octane holding some shotgun ammo, right? Because Mozambique's kind of go through it a lot, right? Especially shotgun ammo, not a lot already in the bag. You might want to have all the ammo you can. More for you, less for the enemy. We are approaching about 60 seconds left, and Revenant is here surrounded by a lot of people. Greek, how does this make you feel seeing that there's a lot of teams here so comfortable and willing to, like, potentially throw their game here just for 3,000 Apex coins? Uh, I mean, it, it is a strategy. If For me, I, I kind of do this with Vantage. I look down with the sniper and just wa watch him take a little damage and then shoot him. So if I'm this, one of these two teams, I'm going to let the other do a little damage on them first and then just try to steal a kill. If this Revenant 1v4s, he deserves, he deserves everything. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what happens here. Fighting can begin. Oh, this might be really easy for Magan. Magan Mag got the money, got but Magan got the money, but it doesn't matter. People can start killing and shooting each other now. They're running. Magan, like he stole something. He just got the kills and, and he's out. But it looks like Tony Sparito is not gonna have any luck. Tony Sparito goes yeah, down. Native Queen's in trouble. And Magan goes down, got a little too greedy. And Ballora is going to, uh, he is going to live to see another day. He's crafting, he's gonna run. He knows he's only getting shot at by Mozambique, so he might have a little bit of a chance to get away. A few minutes later. So it looks like Ballora got Magan time back in. All right, now they're fighting right here. Native Queen gets kicked in the face by Blor. Magan time's teammate, but they're both low because Magan time's on the run. Blor is low, identity unknown, going back to try to res his teammate. They both pretty much said, nah, 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 I'd say, yo, truce. He should throw the jump pad here so they can kind of get out. Nope, he's gonna get into it. Native Queen does get the res, drops it, and this is this is what Lifeline does well. Able to heal that HP while they pop a bat, which just essentially gets them back in the fight quicker, Tony. Magan time on the run, the 3,000 coins winner. Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna go into zone and die for this. Tony Sparito is going in for the punch. Oh, no Vinny D's probably. also running in there. There's no way. No way. Oh. And Magan time, I guess, just tried to take it a little bit further. And I feel like he could have jumped off, started a heal, um, and maybe survived that. That requires movement. He's on controller. He's not. That's not gonna happen. Don't look now. KC Shark and Siaka Slim are already on red. No damage. Just playing the mini game, staying out the way. KC Shark does have a gold bolt on the Mozam, so that thing is going to come. And we're going to see if, this, if they're going to avoid this team because they've only got blue. Yeah, being on reds this early, I'm swinging everybody. We've got some rats um, just kind of hanging out. This is the strategy. You of all people should appreciate that. You don't get, don't let these content creators and streamers bully you into thinking you got to full swing people and kill people. We're here for one thing, and to get a lifeline for Steve skin, figure out where zone is and hide. Um, I want to pay attention to Siaka Slim. Remember the team that was on double red? Yeah, they lost their lifeline. Octane is gone. How? While you were um, telling me about whoever was ratting, uh, yeah, he's just hiding. He's walking. Siaka Slim is going directly towards this banner. Well, well there's going to be some fighting going down right here. We have lifeline main and shade now going on at Zalal team going in ruthlessly with red shield meleeing. I think that is the strat. Lifeline puts in that, that damage. Lifeline, or er, Octane gets in there and stim. Siaka Slim, like he stole something, gets the banner, gets in, gets out, waited for the fight to begin, and he's off the scene. Maybe we'll see them back in the fight. I don't know. Siaka Slim needs to go for that res right there. Doesn't matter. This is their only chance. I believe it's probably the last one. He needs a Lifeline in zone to get a, a Moby anyways, but... I don't know if he's going to be able to get it, Tony. There's a lot of people around. Oh, no. Topic too down. good for you is out. That's it. Vinny D also went down earlier. We are down to nine teams left alive. I'm looking at Siaka Slim. He is just uh, just kind of hanging around on the edge of ring here. He does have to even he does have to craft a banner to even get his lifeline up. He was not able to retrieve the card. His turtles in a lot of trouble. What is going on inside here? Did you see this? These octanes have like bunkered up and like thrown this octane here through jump pads. 
to prevent people from walking in here. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, two minutes, a little less than two minutes left in this game. The final zone is closing, and we are down to the five squads, Tony. Everyone is full. Looking at Team 16, TTP exteriors down to about 75 health. Future streams just trying to. I don't even know if he's trying to help. I think he's just trying to stay alive. And TVT Vix here is going to go down because he actually jump had it into the zone. But he does have self revive. He's going to pop it. I do not know if he's going to live, though. Let's see. He is going to survive. Self revive, trying to stay alive. A team has decided to opt in to stay inside the building. This might come down to a heal off. No, they didn't. They came out. Five squads left alive. This is, this is gonna come down to end ring, Reek. And people are going down left and right as thunderous Echo is letting that thing thunder and echo throughout Broken Moon. Going down to his last health, I see self revives. Another self revive here with a gold knock by thunderous Echo. If he can get this off, he might just win this. He's gonna, he self revives right in front of everybody. Is he gonna be able to survive? Oh! No, he didn't, dude. Oh. My God, he almost got away with it. And we have our our winner, Turbo. New winner in the community of the Lifeline Prestige skin.